Hello, my name is Joel Miller and I am a naturalist over at Dinosaur Hill Nature Preserve. We frequently partner with Oakland Township Parks and Recreation to bring fun and unique programming to you. Unfortunately, due to the global pandemic, we missed out on a few in-person programs, but we'd still like to offer you something. So join us as we explore some cricks and creeks for some of our favorite underwater crustaceans, crayfish. Let's go, come on. Here in Michigan, we have plenty of hidden bodies of water to find and explore, and they're all teeming full of life. Although calm on the surface, below the waters is an entire ecosystem worth discovering. The only issue is that we need some equipment in order to see it. For this crawdad safari, we will be using water shoes, sweeping nets, and critter keepers to store our freshwater friends. Today, we are going to focus on some of our favorite crustaceans, crayfish. There are over 330 different species of crayfish in North America, and they're very common among rivers, creeks, and waterways. Some people call them crawdads, crawfish, river crabs, and mud bugs. But whatever you call them, you have to admit they're cool. These small and important scavengers are incredibly beneficial to the overall health of a waterway. Purifying water by eating algae, bacteria, and decaying organic matter that they come across. You can even get an overall picture of how healthy a waterway is simply by the size of its crayfish population. These little guys spend the majority of their time under the water so they have gills, which isn't unexpected. But their gills are super adapted and have the ability to pull in oxygen out of the air so long as they're moist. This allows the crayfish to breathe in water and on land. Females lay about 300 eggs per season, and baby crayfish take about two years to reach their adult size. With a lifespan of about 20 years in the wild, these guys could have been in this creek for some time. As nocturnal scavengers, they emerge from beneath their safety rocks, logs, and cover at night in order to patrol the river bottom for food. They'll eat plants, algae, snails, clams, larvae, fish, and anything that happened to die that they come across. They are able to accomplish this because they have very good eyesight for a crustacean and can independently move both eyes. When patrolling for food or mates, they typically use their legs to slowly trot across the surface of the riverbed. However, when frightened, startled, or wanting to get a move on it, they're able to propel themselves backward using their tail for a quick escape. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you had fun and we hope you learned something. We'll be back soon with a video all about Michigan fish. Have a great day. Bye.